My name is Neil Foxley and uh, I teach on the MA in Rhetoric here at the University of uh, Central Lancashire and I take two modules, uh, one is Rhetoric in Politics and the other is uh, the Rhetoric of Narrative and Image. Well, Rhetoric is usually thought of as the uh, art of persuasion uh, and that uh, very much holds good uh, uh, still today, uh, but uh, it also can be taken in, in a broader sense uh, as uh, the art of uh, effective communication and uh, the study of that. Um, so that commu effective communication is obviously crucial in, uh, uh, in the world, uh, in every branch of life, uh, whether it be politics or uh, giving presentations, um, journalism, the law, uh, the media, uh, throughout uh, every aspect of life, e even in your interpersonal relationships. The rhetoric of politics obviously focuses on political communication and uh, very much on uh, speeches. Uh, we look at uh, some speeches by British politicians, but we also look uh, a great deal at uh, speeches uh, in the American context. Uh, so, for example, we look at uh, the, uh, the rhetoric of the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King and uh, Malcolm X. Uh, we look at the, uh, the rhetoric of 9-11 uh, and the, uh, the so-called war on, on terror. Uh, and, of course, uh, to bring things up to date, we, uh, we look at uh, Barack Obama, who, of course, has uh, put uh, rhetoric uh, back centre stage uh, in, in terms of uh, its uh, importance in politics. The rhetoric of narrative and image, the, the second module, uh, this uh, look takes in um, fiction, um, literature, particularly uh, novels. Uh, it also takes in film and uh, still images, so photography and also a, a bit of painting as well. So it's a, a very broad uh, course uh, and uh, well, I, th I think it's very interesting for students to have a look at all those uh, three uh, aspects from a rhetorical perspective. From a British perspective it is the first uh, MA uh, in rhetoric in, uh, in the country but I think uh, more generally it, what makes it special is the combination of the different aspects of, of rhetoric. So my colleague uh, Johan uh, deals with the history and theory of rhetoric, which is a more philosophical approach, uh, whereas I deal with uh, the rhetoric of, of politics on the one hand, rhetoric of narrative and image on the other. So you get a very broad, you cover a, a, a very broad range of ground there. Yes, I like to think of the delivery as being uh, very dialogical, if you will. Uh, it's very interactive, it's based on participation, uh, with the students doing uh, a lot of preparation so that they can really take an active part in, in the seminars. So I, I don't go in for sort of, uh, um, sort of uh, the usual sort of lecture style. Uh, it's more engaging people in, in critical uh, discussion. Um, and uh, well, so one aspect of that, for example, is uh, we look at, we have uh, uh, debates and uh, it's, it's also very flexible in terms of what is happening in the outside world. So if something of interest is, happens uh, uh, in the outside world which has a bearing on rhetoric, then I will try to bring that into uh, class discussion. So we have a very broad range of uh, facilities available. Uh, naturally, we have a, a, a library that is well stocked with, uh, with books um, that relate to uh, the course and the, the, the different modules, uh, also DVDs. Um, but I also make uh, extensive use of uh, what we call the eLearn, which is the facility uh, for accessing material uh, online um, uh, electronically through, uh, through password. And uh, we also bring in uh, uh, YouTube videos, for example. So we do keep up very much with uh, technological ad advances in uh, course delivery. What is special, I suppose, is the fact that uh, the different media 
uh, that uh, we use. So, I mean, for example, when you're studying a speech, it's very important not uh, just to look at the text of the speech, uh, but also to, uh, to be able to access uh, where it's available um, a video of it um, so that you can actually see the delivery because delivery is, is crucial to uh, an effective speech, for example. Uh, the students will be able to tell you uh, most about that, but from uh, my perspective, I think they develop, uh, first of all, uh, critical and analytical skills, uh, dealing with a, a wide range of material, whether it be uh, verbal or, or visual. Uh, they develop uh, oral and written presentation skills, so the, the emphasis there is very much on the, the, the practical side of, of rhetoric as uh, effective uh, communication. And uh, they also develop, de develop the, uh, uh, the, the capacity to construct persuasive arguments, uh, which is obviously has a, um, is of great importance uh, outside the university and uh, in future careers. Uh, in fact, uh, we met up with the, uh, the last year's uh, graduates after, the, after their graduation ceremony and uh, we remain in email contact and uh, obviously supply uh, references and uh, uh, we exchange uh, in, um, information that uh, uh, would be of interest uh, to each other. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm always open to uh, um, people who have been on the course coming back to, and, and saying uh, and, and asking for help and uh, I will help them wherever I can. But I would like to uh, very much emphasise the, um, the, the global dimension, if you like, of uh, the modules that I teach. Um, in particular, there is uh, in the, uh, the rhetoric in, in politics module, there is a, a significant focus on uh, US politics because uh, rhetoric does play such an important role in uh, um, American politics. Uh, you have the obviously the inaugural, the, the State of the Union speech, and uh, there's also been uh, recently the, uh, the uh, cases of uh, so-called toxic rhetoric. Um, so rhetoric can have a bad as well as, well as a, uh, a good influence there. Um, more generally, the, uh, we are now uh, offering the, uh, the rhetoric in politics as uh, an option on the M new MA in international relations, and uh, this year we had some students from uh, who were studying international relations. So they bring obviously a, a global dimension to uh, discussions uh, in, in seminars. Well, I think that rhetoric, uh, although it is uh, has a bad name sometimes, um, is absolutely central to. Uh, human life uh, because communication is central to uh, how we get on uh, whether it be uh, in politics whether it be in our, our, our work life whether it be in our personal uh, relationships so understanding what makes communication effective uh, and analyzing um, communication from various sources, I think, provides you with a very good preparation for uh, uh, life in, in, in the workplace and uh, uh, as a citizen in, uh, in today's world.